Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how we can create directory website that looks like this. This is a directory website called as MacTools.pro which provides an exclusive list of best Mac apps and tools. And there are hundreds if not thousands of directory websites like this. Some of the other examples are the website like AI marketing directory, the other ones like Futurepedia. And these directory websites are making hundreds if not thousands of dollars every single month based on the traffic they are generating. And one of the major ways they monetize their site is by using this featured section. For example, this Humeta AI is featured over here. To be featured over here, this tool has paid Futurepedia a certain amount. To be listed in this Mac Tools website, you have to pay $19. And to get featured on the website for one month, you'll have to pay $79. This is also a really cool way to make money if you can bring tons of traffic to your directory website. Some other ways you can monetize these directory websites are by using affiliate links. Uh, whenever someone purchases from the link uh, that you have in your site, then you will be given certain percentage of that sale. So uh, in this video, we will learn how we can create a directory website like this. I'll create a directory website similar to this Mac tools. We'll be using V0, which is a tool by Varsel in order to first create the site. Then we'll be using Cursor in order to make some more changes and learn more about the site. You can see here, I have made some uh, other sites over here as well. I'll just go to here, uh, the incognito mode and show you this is a site that I have built using D0 and Cursor. Uh, and I have not used any form of coding over here because I do not know a lot of coding. So you can see here, this is a landing page for my uh, application called at GenFocus. This is pretty good, right? And to be able to create this kind of websites without having to code, that is a great thing. And all of this is possible with these AI tools that we have at our disposal. I have not created a directory website previously, but in this video, we'll be using AI in order to create a directory website. So you can see the website looks pretty sick, right? And if I had to hire someone to create a website like this, it would definitely cost me around 100 or even more amount now to create a site like this. Now let's go back to V0 and tell it to create a Mac directory website. So here I have asked it to create a Mac directory website which, which lists some of the best Mac application. And I have talked about creating a modern looking and visually appealing design with a grid background. Let us first ask it to create a, this website. Then we'll ask it to make some changes based on what we want. Okay, uh, this is the site we have and it does look good. Now we'll ask it to make some uh, more changes. So I have asked it to make it dark mode version only instead of this colorful and add app icon and description as well as pricing model whether it is free, paid or pre premium model. Then when I click on the card, it should take me to the website of this application. Also add a hero section on the top. The search bar should be above this section and add a footer as well as other related information. Also make the design. Let us see what we get now. Okay, this looks good right now. Let us see if we can make any changes. First, I want the design to be a little more compact. And I also want the hero section to be a little better. And let's see if there is anything else we can change. And I will also ask it to create more applications. Okay. First, make the hero section a little bit better. So I asked it to make the hero section a little better with text handpicked by real people with the handwriting font somewhere appropriately towards the ears with love or something else emoji and make the apps card a little compact and make its design better. And finally add 10 more Mac apps so that we can get a better overview of all of this code, all of the UI. Okay, this does look good. Now it looks like this and it is good. Now, what you can do is download this TSX file. Once you have downloaded the TSX file, uh, I'll go to cloud and paste all of the paste all of the code and tell me how to build a site using this code. Give me step by step. This appears to be a next.js React application showcasing Mac applications. We have to create a Next.js project. So I'll go to Terminal and copy this command, paste it here. I already have the Node 
app.js install. If you do not have it, you first need to install it. If you do not install it, it will show you error. Just agree for all of the installation. Then we'll need to install the dependencies over here. Okay, we have the directory installed. Now we'll need to install these React package. Then we'll need to create a new file in our project. Let us first see if we have already installed the Lucidity React. Let me first see by starting this development server if it runs or not. npm run dev. Okay. Let me try to copy the URL. And it is running. Okay, we can edit the page.tsx file. Let's copy the content from here. Copy it. And paste it into our page.tsx file. Inside the Mac app directory. Paste it. Let's go back to our browser and see it here. We have it. We have the website launched over here. Cool. Okay, it looks cool. Let's try to zoom it. This does look cool. But now you can make changes to this website from the Cursor AI as well. Now let me show you. Let's go to Cursor. Open a folder. Mac app directory. In this website, make the cars a little compact. Make the icons in the cars consistent. Let's see if it is able to change. Okay, it does not have access to any of these files. I don't know why. But let me try again. Let me not select this node module. I'll select the CSS, TSX files, and these JSON files. Maybe these are necessary. And I'll ask it the same question. Make the icons consistent okay now it detects all the files i guess if you are selecting non-code files like the ico file then it will not be able to detect any of the files okay it is making some changes to the pages.tsx file now we will need to place our app icons inside this folder now if you click on accept all i'll make some more changes to the ui and get back to you very soon Okay, so this is the UI that I have been able to get right now. This is the nav bar we have here. If we click on explore apps, it will create a smooth animation view to display these applications. I do not have any images over here because I have not set them. I have also created a new phase for submitting application, which will show this view. If you click on go back, it will go back. Now, if you want to add a new application, then you will need to go to the code itself. Okay, you will have to edit the code. Let's go to Cursor and you'll have to edit the code over here. You'll need to add a code. You'll have to add a code over here. Just like this. Now if I click on save and go to the browser and reload, it will have two GenFocus applications. Let me refresh. You can hear, you can see here we have two GenFocus applications. The problem with editing the code or the problem with adding content by editing code is that it is not very intuitive or it is not the best way to do it. I have found that we have to use CMS. CMS means content management system, something like WordPress does. Like it allows you to add content or it allows you to add anything to the website using a UI. You don't have to add code to your site. If you are creating a simple landing page, then editing the code is the best way. But for directory websites or website that uses a lot of content, then it is not the most effective way because you will have to always read the code over here, then you will need to build, then again you will need to push that to where you are hosting the site. But with CMS, Content Management System, you can easily add all of these information by UI and the UI will be integrated with this website by using API. I'll be talking about this in the next video on how to set up a CMS with a website so that you can easily add content to the site without having a lot of hassle. So this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some value in this video and you learned something about AI coding. I'll be coming with some more AI coding related videos in the future. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great time. See you again.